I'm Julia Nishlapidus. I'm uh, James Wallace. I'll be playing Benedict. And I will be playing Beatrice. I'm the assistant director and founder of Shakespeare Bash. Julia is the everything putting it all together of Shakespeare Bash. She's also the artistic producer of Theatre Caravel. We are married. We are. For two and a half years. Woo! We did it. I'll go first. Okay. So we went to Montreal oh. on like a mini moon, we called it, after our wedding because we were going to Paris. Um, in the like spring after we got married. So we went on a little vacation to Montreal and we were with Julia's uncle who lives there and his like friends and they're all film people. And we just didn't like we all kept we kept saying, oh we're gonna hang out for a couple and then we'll go we'll go out for dinner. We never went out for dinner. And it was just shots and different liquors and beers and yeah. and uh, I, I basically just had to like to carry her back to the hotel. Uh, and then cheeseburgers in the morning. Was that a night where I scatted? You did scat. She scats sometimes. I scat when I drink a lot? Mm -hmm. Not scat? well? Not well. Who no. scats well? No, I think one of my favorites, I wasn't there to see you get drunk, but I received a call. It was before we were living together, and I got a call from you, and it's the middle of winter, like really one of the coldest days ever, and James is sitting out front of his apartment uh, calling me saying, I can't get into my house. He had just left all of his roommates like a block away. And I was like, just call one of them and they'll bring you into the house. And logically, like that seemed absurd to him. And he was like, I'm just gonna sit here until you can come and let me in. And I was like, I don't even have keys <laughs> to let you in. So I show up like, maybe an hour later, and James is just like lying on the front steps, freezing his ass off, too drunk to like think about calling anyone other than me. There, yeah, the odd time when you have a beer or something before. Actually, one of my first professional shows, I was working up in, in Barrie with Theatre by the Bay, we were doing Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, I was working with Lee Wilson, who's a great guy, and I was about 21, just out of theater school, or 22, or whenever we got out of theater school, and um, and there's this giant Hooters in the park of Theater by the Bay, and Lee was having beers before the show, the opening night with his buddy, and I came to meet him, and, and it was just like he had a pitcher and he just kept filling it. So I was like two pints in, playing bottom in the park, and uh, the 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 rib fest was going on right next to us, so we were like yelling over the rib fest. It was a great summer. I uh, was doing a children's theater performance <laughs> of Cinderella, playing one of the stepsisters for like a whole winter. Uh, we had like three shows a day, and sometimes they were at like 7 or 8 a.m. Uh, and I forgot about one of the early shows one day, and the night before I went out and drank way too much and stayed up all night. And when 6 a.m. came around and my alarm went off and was like, Julia, you have a show. I was still drinking. So I went and I did a four show day of Cinderella, the musical for like six year olds and was pretty drunk the entire time. Uh, I get, I, I like the part, so that's gonna be fun. It'll be fun to do it with you this time around. Because you've played this part I've played before. this part before, and it would be fun to do it with uh, my love. I don't know what to expect. I mean, I've heard the stories of uh, drunk uh, Mackers, and that, that sounds, like, awful. Um, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, this is a different, this is different. <clears throat> different beast. I, I feel like we get to share the drinking in this one. Yeah, like it's like we're in it together and everybody else is there to support us, so that feels good. The, the one, the fear, I guess, of me is that I tend to kind of fall a little limp when it comes to my knowledge of Shakespeare when I get drunk. No. Well, I mean, I, I start to miss words and, and then that's just going to bother me. There's no bathroom backstage. We're going to hydrate ourselves to the point where we're going to pee our pants. We'll figure it out. I think it'll be fun. I'm a little horrified. Uh, about like learning all the lines just to get drunk and probably not remember any of the lines anymore. 
Oh. That's a hard one. My favorite thing about Julia is that she is brave oh. and driven. I'd say that's my favorite thing about you. Thanks. No, I think my favorite thing about James is like his silliness. That sounds really... No, it's great. It sounds silly. Yeah, it sounds silly, which is what I was about to say. Romeo and Juliet. Hamlet. The, it, because, it's, because it's probably unfinished time in of Athens, but it's not a bad play. It's just not, it's incoherent at times. Oh my god, I don't have an answer. Uh, First instinct, go now. Part of me wants to say Cymbeline even though I love it, but I think it's absolutely ridiculous. There you go. Beer. Gin. Pirates. I'm gonna say ninjas. Oh. They're covert. The pirates, pirates are just obvious. They're just... And they have parrots and peg legs. That's a, that's a fallacy. No, that's the pirate that's... I'm thinking of. Well, you're thinking of the Pirates of the Caribbean, which is just a no, ride. No, they're not like sexy pirates. What? The Pirates of the like... Caribbean are... I'm not talking about they're the Disney truck. films. I'm talking about the Disney, oh. like, the ride. Yes, right? that's what I'm thinking. The, du the big duck. Because even if you went down, that would be like a story to tell. The duck, it's a duck. We eat also, duck. But my we don't eat, said, well, like, we should eat I could horse. take down these little horses one at a time. How many? A hundred? That's a lot That's of a horses. Lot. And they're fast. Ducks are slow. So a big duck, if you got yeah. if you got in trouble, you just run away. Is a big beak? Is it like a rubber ducky? Or is it like a duck? <laughs> no, like a real duck. Like a real duck? Yeah. Well, that's terrifying. I have nightmares about that. Yeah. Fall staff. I think I played mine. What? And we'll play it again the and nurse? again. The nurse? Yeah. Yeah. Try to remember things. I think it'll be just a reminder to pee before I go on. Oh, that's a good one. Because I don't want Can you remind me of that too? Yeah.